This is the basic training on microsurgery. There are three steps in this course. The first part is the training with a practice board. The second is the training with artificial blood vessels. And the last is the training with chicken feet. You must pass each step to be able to proceed to the next one. The first training is with a practice board. In this training, you have to place a practice board at its designated place, make incisions as shown in the picture, and perform 10 stitches for each incision under the microscope in the ascending number. Since rotating the board in your desired direction defeats the purpose of this training, you must switch hands instead of doing so. For example, for the incision number 4, you can practice in a backhand position. In the second training with artificial vessels, you're provided with an artificial vessel of 2 mm in diameter. You're meant to divide it into 6 pieces, pin down each end, and suture them under the microscope. You must perform 8 stitches of a simple suture twice, 9 stitches of a simple suture twice, and continuous suture once. Hence, in total, you will practice suturing 5 times. For the 8 stitch and 9 stitch sutures, think of it as if you are dividing the vessel segment into halves and triplets respectively. Generally, the stay sutures are performed at 180 degrees for the 8 stitch suture and at 120 degrees for the 9 stitch suture. If you consider the point on the vessel that is the closest to you as the 12 o'clock point, perform the stay sutures at the 3 o'clock and at the 9 o'clock positions. Then, suture at the 12 o'clock point and in the middle of the two segments divided by the 12 o'clock suture. Afterwards, turn the vessel around and repeat the same on the other side. For the 9 stitch suture, perform the stay sutures at the 10 o'clock and at the 2 o'clock point and divide the sector into three equal parts to perform two more sutures. Then turn the vessel around to suture at the 6 o'clock point and repeat the same procedure for the rest of the two sectors. For the third training, which is with chicken feet, it is the most convenient to start from the lowest magnification of the microscope. Pin the foot on the board so that the top of the foot is showing and make an incision. Use the adds and forceps, a knife, and the iris scissors to skin the top of the foot and expose the extensor tendon. If you lift the extensor tendon, you will be able to find a neurovascular bundle underneath. Use the adventitious scissors to remove the nerves attached to the vessels. Once you also remove the soft tissues attached to the vessel, you will be able to detach the vessels with diameters approximately 1 to 2 mm. For the convenience of the surgeon, a piece of a background material can be used to separate the surrounding tissues from the vessel. Open a double clamp and place it on the vessel. Cut the middle of the vessel using the adventitia scissors and remove the adventitia surrounding the ends of the vessel. You should adjust the clamps so that the distance between the vessel ends is approximately the vessel thickness. Expand the vessel opening twice as much using a vessel dilator. Then start the suturing. To make the process easier, you should suture 180 degrees away from the stay suture for the 8 stitch suture and 120 degrees away for the 9 stitch suture. 
Then turn the vessel around. Remember to keep the vessel wet while practicing the suturing. In order to check for the patency and for any leakages, carefully insert an angiocatheter filled with a colored solution at the open end of the vessel. Please check if there are any anastomotic leakages under the microscope. This is the end of the training on the basic training on microsurgery. Thank you.